Imagine your house could be broken into and you'd never know it. It's possible with a bump key, named because this is all it takes to pop the lock. People say my house got broken into, something's missing. I don't know how it happened. Did, how'd they get in? There's no forced, sign of forced entry. So then, then they start looking at other, other sources. Was it uh, someone who maybe had a key to their house? They start thinking of, was it a housekeeper? When in fact, it could have been someone using a bump key. That could have just been a random burglar. It's a key blank with deep cuts. Hit with blunt force, it can bump a lock open. And here's the thing, it can also lock that door back up. They could break in, commit the burglary, then leave, and then bump key the lock closed again. So if someone could actually come home and not even know their home was even burglarized or how, it got bro how people broke in. Save for this small mark, an indentation into the keyway. Assemblyman Dave Reibel is a certified forensic locksmith. He's trained to examine locks and find out how they were bypassed. He's sponsoring a bill that targets people who make, sell, or buy bump keys. You know, we've had laws for Slim Jims and other things that have been used to break into cars. Now it's just time to add bump keys to part of the burglary tools. Now you can buy them without penalty. This set of 23 goes for under 50 bucks online. Rival says that would almost always do the trick. That's because the key doesn't have to match the lock exactly. The sizes just have to match. If they have a couple minutes, they can sit there and try the different keys to find out which one goes in, and then they go through the bumping process. You could have one of these bump keys and not be charged with a crime. The bad news is the bump key may still be around, but this time the bump key owner goes to jail. Under the proposed legislation, it would be a fourth-degree crime to possess a bump key, a disorderly person's offense heaped on anyone who manufactures or sells them. Fourth-degree crime, you're automatically fingerprinted. Now that person's put into the system, and that gives law enforcement that opportunity that they may not have committed a crime at that point, but once they're fingerprinted, their fingerprints are stored into a, a database that three, four months down the road, a fingerprint's lifted at a burglary scene. Now at least we have that person in the, in the system. I've had a number of uh, customers say they've had their locks either picked or bumped. The assemblyman's cousin and namesake owns a locksmith shop in Point Pleasant. He said he's seen evidence of locks bumped in the area. Associated robberies? Hard to prove. Over time, any key will mark a lock, making it hard to prove a bump key was used unless the locks are new. Assemblyman Rival said his legislation would educate law enforcement and help police hone in on the right suspects. In the meantime, he suggested New Jerseyans look into buying high-security, bump-proof locks. For NJTV News, I'm Erin Delmore.